heart and mind coherence and raising the sacred secretion. When our thoughts and emotions fully resonate in love, even the toughest challenges can be overcome. The true mind can weather all the lies and illusions without being lost. Meaning, know thyself and stand by your principles. The true heart can tough the poison of hatred without being harmed. Meaning, know thyself. The love in thee conquers all. Since beginningless time, darkness thrives in the void, but always yields to purifying light. The higher you elevate, and the more your consciousness expands, the more you will be required to resist the lies and illusions of the world. In the era before the Avatar, we bent not the elements, but the energy within ourselves. To prevent others from bending your energy, your own spirit must be unbendable, or you will be corrupted and destroyed. If you want to manifest your dreams, you must become a master at monitoring the thoughts and feelings you are aligning yourself with. Your thoughts and feelings become your reality, so become adept at observing the thoughts and feelings you are creating for yourself. Jerusalem symbolises the great nerve centre, just back of the heart. The loves and hates of the mind are precipitated to this ganglionic receptacle of thought and are crystallised there. This is really important because love stimulates oxytocin release. The flow of the pituitary chemical oxytocin is enhanced by feelings of love and pure intention in the heart. Subsequently, CSF flow increases and pressurizes so that the pineal can upgrade melatonin. Pituitary secretions act as a catalyst for pineal activity, thus producing the felt sensation of the great regeneration. In the brain, it first activates the pituitary, the feminine negative pole, causing it to send a stream of bluish solar electricity through the infundibulum to the pineal, the male positive pole, thus completing the circuit. The stream of blue solar electricity travelling from the pituitary to the pineal is nitric oxide. The pinnacle of enlightenment produced in the pineal gland has two major aspects. One, the stimulation of nitric oxide release, the Kundalini. Two, the upgrade of melatonin into pinaline, DMT, and the biochemicals of enlightenment. Nitric oxide influences pineal metabolism, DMT synthesis. When photon light is absorbed by the body, it forms nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is essential for the metabolism of all cellular regeneration and it stimulates mRNA, the messenger of DNA. Nitric oxide is a molecule of health. Nostril breathing increases nitric oxide in the body Hence, all of the pranayamas that involve nasal breathing. In Hinduism, a common mantra is Om. Christianity altered Om and created their Amen. Chanting Om boosts the production of nitric oxide in the body. The biochemicals of enlightenment travel from the pineal to the optic thalamus and the third ventricle. The upgraded biochemicals act as a foaming agent 
Epaphras in the Bible, in CSF causing it to rise and multiply. When the supply of cerebrospinal fluid exceeds the volume of the central canal and the ventricles of the brain, it seeps over and bathes the nerves, resulting in the experience of an intense physical and spiritual bliss. Nitric oxide, DMT, pinaline, and all the other biochemicals of enlightenment are detailed in my book, The Cell of Life awakening and regenerating. The biochemicals and the process and some practical guidance is also given in The God Design, Secrets of the Mind, Body and Soul. There is also a course available on Teachable called Super Consciousness Awakening, which is designed to help you realize the felt experience of consciousness expansion and enlightenment for yourself. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I absolutely love the series um, called The Avatar, The Last Airbender. I watched it when I was younger and I've recently been watching it again with my son and it's brilliant to see all these spiritual and scientific truths being portrayed throughout the show. So if you haven't seen it before, I really do recommend it. It's, um, it's a very fun, very um, nourishing, um, poignant series and it's got a lot of good anecdotes in it. Um, so yeah, as always, it's an absolute pleasure to journey with you. I wish you all the best on your paths. Namaste.